Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's the Talkie Box Podcast, when you care to send the very best. The very best. The absolute. Who are we sending it to? Very best. Everyone. Whoever we want. Very good. All right. Yeah. No more questions. No further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm your host, Dave, and with me tonight are Jason. Jason, hey. And Justin. Hi. And Jeremy Adam. It's me, Adam. Jeremy Adam? Yeah. Jeremy yeah. Adam. Yeah. And uh, we recently started our Patreon. Yeah, how's that going? That's going good. We got uh, two patrons. We got uh, we got Brian. Hey. Thank S- you, Brian. SNM Brian, who, who recently got engaged, actually. Whoa, oh, hey. Congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. congratulations. And his lady of choice. Ooh. And then uh, Bex. Bex is also a patron. Thanks for that. Thanks, If you Bex. want to become a patron, you can go to our Patreon page. It's like Patreon dot com slash talkie box I'm pretty sure and uh, if it's not I'm sure you can find it and it'll probably be in the description of this video and then you can become a patron and get cool stuff like they're gonna get so yeah I'm gonna give them all kinds of cool stuff I know you are anyway so I think it's been long enough that we can start talking about Jessica Jones season two we yeah. could did you watch it no oh. did you watch it yes did you watch it no I watched it. I didn't see the yeah. last episode. Really? The the season two season finale. You, you watched all of it except for that? Except for that. No, oh, so you have no idea what happens. In the last episode. Well, you probably have an idea of what happens. But you don't know what happened. No. So, maybe we shouldn't talk about it then. No, we can definitely talk about it, because, I mean, it's not like they've seen any of it anyway. Well, I have an interest in it. You don't, you don't like the... Are you, you don't like like the the Marvel Netflix shows at all? Or? No, I I do. Yeah. I just have no interest in her. Oh, uh, okay. Like I cannot wait for Daredevil, but mm. I don't I don't have any okay. interest in her. Well, <clears throat> some well, people don't like good things. Some people aren't into it. <laughs> so they they started Rude. off uh, the first season. Uh, yeah. And I know Justin has seen the first season. That I have. Uh, the first season is all about uh, her main adversary and pretty much most of her ad- adult life where she was uh, mind-controlled by Kilgrave. Well, I think, she, I think it was only like two years. Was it two years? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, it, the way but it it's still reads like, yeah, it's is... It's still a big deal, but... Was that it was... Uh, uh, her being mind controlled by him, and and basically, her coming to terms with that, him reappearing, and then her eventually uh, breaking his neck. Yeah. Um, Spoilers for something that happened two years ago. Yeah. Second season seems all about origins. Uh, it's got way more of like, how did Jessica Jones get her power? If this crazy uh, Kilgrave with his psychic thing or whatever, like. Yeah. He wanted her. That was all of what first season was about. Right. Uh, then you see her in, uh, like Defenders. And Defenders. Yeah. I was, do you see her in Luke Cage? No. No. Okay. He shows up in her first season, but okay. she's not in his. Okay. But I, I feel like this was a lot more about like what makes Jessica Jones special. Right. Uh, and how did she get that way? Was she born that way? Is she a mutant? Mm-hmm. You know, was it? And not just that, but also how that affects the people around her because uh, that's a big part of this season is, is how her family um is affected by her being the way she is and all that stuff so and i i enjoy it. I, I was talking to uh, kate about it and she was she didn't really like it but because she felt it was kind of boring but i feel like that's it's a build-up show and it's not supposed to be an action show it's a it's an investigative thriller yeah well it's a it's a Crime drama show. Yeah. So it's like if uh, Dick Wolf got into the, got into the you know the, <laughs> yeah, the comic, the, the hero, the hero genre. Yeah. So okay. it's not it's not meant to be this like action packed thing. It's not it's not Luke Cage. Luke yeah. Cage was all about like let's see how many times we can shoot him and how many hoodies he can go through. Yeah. Like, Kicking in the door, busting down faces, getting answers. Yeah. Uh, with just strength of arm. It was essentially Shaft. Yeah. But. Um, she does a lot more like, you know, investigating, yeah. snooping through people's personal records, right. like all that PI stuff is what you get a lot more of. And then it's just 
every now and then in one of the episodes, she'll have to flex the fact that she's got super strength or yeah. it'll come up somehow, but and it's definitely not the main driving force yeah, it's of not, the show. It's not so much about her powers in that she uses her powers as a tool, and but everybody wants to make it about her powers, and she doesn't want that, you know? But, yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I saw all of it. I watched it in, like, three days. Um, yeah, I'm going to watch the uh, the last episode of yeah. just... Uh, Saving it. Right. Um, Justin, do you actually want to watch it? Or? I do want to watch it. Yeah. It's just one of those things that I haven't quite fit into my schedule yet. Mm. Um, but it's definitely on the queue. Okay. Or my list. Whatever they're calling I it. I think it's a list days. now. Yeah. It's a list. Yeah, it's on my list. Because Americans don't understand what a queue is, I think. No, it's, it's on my ladder. list. Yeah, that's what it is. I just added this movie to my Quekwe, and I'm not sure uh, <laughs> how I'm supposed to get to it now. The queue. Quit. Well, you just add it to your quick quick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always did think that was a weird word because it's like five letters to say one letter. Yeah, you got one and then you got four silent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> did the quick quick. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. It also brings up, I know you want to talk about like uh, strong women in... Well, just in fantasy and in science fiction, uh, who do you think is the most powerful female Like that has been dreamed up and delivered to you know, the markets? I mean, Wonder Woman like, automatically springs to mind, I think. Right, because she's like the daughter of a god, yeah. Like, Amazonian I would counter, princess. I would counter with uh, Jean Grey, the Phoenix. Yeah, that okay, would yeah. that would have That's been my my go to would have been Dark Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I also think uh, you know She Hulk. Yeah, but you know her raw strength, but also like her her intellect, like she's she's a lawyer. So, uh, but I I'm under the impression she's got the same. Ability set that regular Hulk does, and just the more angry that she becomes, the more invulnerable she becomes. I actually becomes. haven't read that much She Hulk, but from what I've seen, She Hulk stays She Hulk. Like, she doesn't revert back to Jennifer. I think it's Jennifer Walters is her real name. No idea. Um, and I, I don't think she, like, reverts back to that or anything. She just stays She Hulk. Like, I, I've read several comments that had her in it as kind of a side character where she's, like, in the, in the, in the courtroom, just all green and everything, doing her job. And everybody knows who she is. Mama! Can she speak? No. Yeah, yeah, she speaks very eloquently, actually. Because mm, um, she's a lawyer. I know nothing about she's she She's basically Hulk. like, Which she's she just, just exhibited. bigger than uh, <laughs> like an average human. She's not like Hulk size, but she's not normal yeah, person. She's, she's not like, like WNBA size. Like kind Amazonian of. size. Yes. yes. More Amazonian. Like She's she's obviously like very, very built and muscular, but not like grossly over muscular like the Hulk is. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gross? Kate would actually be someone great to talk about. She's one of Kate's favorite characters. Um, um, someone also brought up uh, Squirrel Girl. Yeah. Like, And I know that I can see a lot of flaws in that power set, but apparently <laughs> the way she's written, she is yeah. nearly invincible. Seemingly. like she Apparently she's taken on like um, Wolverine... I think she took on Thanos at one point and beat him, and like several other of these like big powerful characters, and just always I I have have to assume it comes down to they uh, they underestimate her, and then she's like I got squirrels, bitch, and like well they have to because I mean she's a squirrel, like they're not <laughs> yeah they're not anything in the form of intimidating or powerful, right. so they have to write her to be this way, otherwise mm-hmm. it's just gonna be. Flick, yeah. and oh, I've broken every bone in my body. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. We're going to tap out now, folks. <laughs> I tap out, but it hurts. Captain Marvel, also good uh, good thing. But we're we're basically only talking about comic book characters. At yeah, point. which is where and, you know uh, a lot of powers come from. Uh, right. I think of powerful women in science fiction, and I think uh, that awesome Twilight girl from uh, The Force or whatever. What? The <laughs> awesome Twilight Girl from the Force. And that's what I thought he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That movie about the Force. What's yeah. it called? Awesome Twilight Girl. Um, <laughs> the Star Wars. Solar Wars. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Space Babies. Yeah. <laughs> Space Jam. Yeah. <laughs> you talking but, about Ray? Are you talking about Leia? Or 
Talk about. Mm. Uh, the, no. Which one of them are Twilight? N none of them. None of them. So why are we talking about Twilight? Because there was a Twilight that was. Uh, oh, Twilight. Yeah. I thought you said Twilight. I thought you were talking. You've about been them. saying Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> No, I've been saying Twilight. Oh, I've been hearing Twilight. Yeah. Which well, is why we're going to have to play which is why the I was tape totally back. Totally confused. You're like, <laughs> yeah, Twilight from Star Wars. Like, like, what? Yeah, you know, vampires in space and shit. I mean. No, Twilight. Okay. Uh, with the tentacle hair. Okay. The I have no ones? idea what her name is. I mean, they're blue ones. There's, this one there's was a, a blue Jedi one. that was. Yeah. Was yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I don't remember her name. So, so big ass, long story short, <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> Not Twilight. Would a, would a, would a force user mm -hmm. like be able to uh, stay on par with some kind of a superhero? I mean, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, because they're technically superheroes if you wanted to look at them that way. That's their right. power. Yeah, they're they're all like telekinetic, and which can, is basically you know. what you know Phoenix is. Yeah. Just so it'd be like a lesser version of Phoenix, but she's got laser sabers. Yeah. Got yeah. a fancy laser sword. Light swords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, then there's also the powerful people if we're not talking about actually having superpowers. You have people like, uh, you know, Samus from the Metroid games or yeah. Ellen from, uh, is, it, is it Ellen or Ripley, whatever her name is. From Ellen Ripley. A yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, from Alien. Mm -hmm. You know, they're very powerful female characters, but they don't have necessarily superpowers. I mean, yeah. Samus kind of does to an extent, but. Well, I mean, well, apparently she can roll up in a ball. That's got to be a superpower. Well, I think Samus is definitely more suit driven, more mm -hmm. science driven. But and, like, and I feel like she wouldn't last long in a fight against, you know, like a Cat Marvel or I don't know. She's fought some crazy shit in those yeah. games. So, and in all the old Nintendo stuff, she is described as being this six foot four Amazon of a woman. So there's yeah. that bounty hunter. High tech space suit. She could probably go toe to toe with a lot of yeah. superheroes. And I'm pretty sure in some of the new games, she there's there's definitely levels, if not whole games, where she's not even in a suit. Um, there's levels, yes, but we don't. know. The only problem with her is it like she has to beat a bunch of monsters to find the weapons for her suit. Yeah, they're uh, just strewn well, about a planet. They're just strewn all over the place, <laughs> and she has to go get them down off of pedestals uh, after <laughs> defeating a bunch of yeah. big, strong, heinous monsters. So if she gets caught. Early in the game, <laughs> she's just got a regular old blaster. Well, it's also yeah. depending on which one you do play, because there's some that we're not going to mention by name, where she has everything, but out of respect, she's not using it until she's authorized to, which was dumb. And then, yeah, there's other ones where you find them, or she just has them, then loses them. So there's, mm. there's things like that. Yeah, I'm still going to go with uh, the Phoenix. Yeah. So we're gonna go with Phoenix. I mean, just all powerful. I mean, if you're if you're gonna put them in like a death match, then yeah. yeah but probably. like, but we're still talking about just you know powerful females. Powerful women like Aeon Flux. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. not the Charlize Theron movie one, but like the Captain Marvel is another one where I'm pretty sure I mentioned her. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> and then I re-mentioned her. <laughs> yep. Then I said it again. All right. Because I was the, doodling all the Spider People. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Spider Woman. Spider Gwen. The Silk. Sure. Yeah. That's probably somebody. No, it is. I believe you. I don't know who it is. She's basically Spider Woman, but dumb. <laughs> <laughs> dumb Spider Woman. Yeah. Who so else? Do you have somebody else in mind? Um, no, no. I was just curious, you know, who you guys would pit, like who you would who you would put your money on mm -hmm. in like in a death match? In a death match. Mm -hmm. uh, or at least in some sort of a power struggle, doesn't necessarily yeah. it could be the unconscious. <laughs> well, if we're going with beating people on Supergirl, Captain Marvel's got you there. That was a Civil War joke. I haven't actually read the Civil War comics. I read Civil War two. Yeah, that's um, the one where she beat Iron Man into a coma. Oh yeah, that did happen. Yeah. Interesting. So beating people unconscious. I think she she nails it there. Mm-hmm. Unless we're talking about, you know, only unconscious. Otherwise, she might be able to... She can't quite pull her punches, it sounds like. <laughs> but there, there's, like... I mean, if you're talking comics, there's so many powerful women in those. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just in the X-Men, you have Storm, Rogue, Jean Grey. Uh, Jubilee's a woman, but not necessarily powerful. Um, hey, she can make fireworks. <laughs> 
Yeah, with uh, DC Comics, they've recently made Catwoman, some people might say, too powerful. Really? Because there was one story arc <laughs> recently, she was fighting, like, her, Batman, and some other of the Justice League was up against some people. Like, they were c- controlled, but they were taken down the Justice League. Mm-hmm. And she apparently floored three flashes with uh, a single punch. Like, to each one of them. Yeah. That's not, that's not something you can just do, but... I mean, she's if you can like, hit the flash, you're going to... Aha! The punch! Flash. There's one flash down. Where are the other two? <laughs> I mean, you'd think that uh, that abrupt <clears throat> stop would be kind of painful. But he's also probably used to that abrupt stop, and mm-hmm. she's just a normal... Yeah, I mean, you would think that her hand would be completely shattered, but, you know, mm. Golden Hey, Sp- where'd my hand go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There's not a whole lot of strong female roles in science fiction that I can think of. Aliens. That's not necessarily true. I mean, there's... Um, I mean, he brought up yeah, Ripley. 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 Uh, there was uh, Zoe in um, Firefly, who was not... Oh, I mean... So Lilu in Fifth yeah. Element. Yep, Lilu. Lilu does multi That's that's a that's a good one. Um, I mean, they're definitely out there. It's just you know, obviously the the ones that in the comic books are more fresh in my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I think they're more fresh in a lot of people's mind. You know, comic books are ruling especially the with day the, right yeah now. with the the movies going on right now. Um, but they're definitely out there. There's definitely a very strong. Again, this would be a great topic for Kate to be here. <laughs> Then you um, also have uh, with movies in recent, like uh, the new Tomb Raider. You got Laura Croft, a yeah. very, very prominent, powerful female, uh, you know, fantasy sci-fi character. Yeah. Which I saw that. You saw mm-hmm. that. Yep. Did you guys see the new Tomb Raider yet? No. Nope. Should go see it. It's very good. It is very good. Um, I've heard it's very good. How good is it? Very, very good. I've heard it's very good. <laughs> I feel like um, from two sources. Two. <laughs> I want to say was it Aaliyah that played the. The vampire queen. Yep. Queen of the damned. Yeah, that was Aaliyah. Yeah. Uh, before. R.I.P. That yeah, before she died in the plane crash. Yeah. So yeah. I think that I think that was that was a pretty powerful female character. Oh yeah. There's also the uh, Resident Evil chick. Uh, what's her name? Alice. Mila. Yeah, uh, Alice. Alice. Same um, from and Fifth then, Element. Yeah, mm-hmm. she plays a lot of. She was in Ultraviolet. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and she does a lot. She's of all about roles. action roles, and I think she does a lot of her own stunts and stuff. She does. Like she, she's all about that. And then you have, uh, I think, named Selena from the Underworld movies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which the I the first couple were actually really, or the first three I think were actually really good. I've only seen the first and then, two, and then they started making them not as good anymore. More. Uh, yeah, I don't but, feel like anybody really competes with Jean Grey except maybe somebody that was a Jedi or a Sith that was like just a master of also using yeah. telekinesis and being able to like put up some kind of a telekinetic shield yeah. to thwart her. Which is, it, I mean, Jean Grey was a very powerful character. It's probably why they killed her off for so long, because I think, I don't even know if she's alive in the I comics right now. Dead. Yeah, she's been dead for years now. At least in the, the main X Men yeah. comics, I think she's dead. Yeah. Um, oh, they made her an alien princess, I thought. I thought that's what Phoenix was, was that Jean Grey basically Trent died and then came back as the Phoenix, which is why she was the Phoenix, because she came back. Uh, it's a lot of weird. The Phoenix is its own entity. That embodied Jean Grey, and then but is a is a queen. I'm pretty sure is some kind of a noble or a, or royal entity of some kind. I don't know. It, it's there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on with all that that I haven't read all of it to know what's no the deal is. But um, yeah. Well, on that same token, you can look at um. Emma Frost as well. She's another very yeah. powerful female comic character. That's true. It's very true. I know. I just <laughs> said it. It's got you there. Uh, Little Andra, the queen of the Shi'ar, which has a lot to do with the whole Phoenix thing. Mm-hmm. Um, we're losing a lot of people, I think, right now. If we're talking about like, <laughs> yeah, obscure I think, yeah. X-Men references Let's and shit. prattle on a little bit longer. Yeah. Just try to get as many in as we can. <laughs> Wonder so. Twin powers. I always thought it was very progressive <laughs> that with the Wonder Twins, the female twin got the much clearly better powers. Turning into animals. 
turning turning into animals where the the male wonder twin can turn into water stuff. Yeah. <laughs> a spittoon, which was a bucket of water. Yeah, it was a really well. weird. A, a slab of ice. <laughs> a, slab. a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delicious. Yeah. But the female wonder twin got better powers. Mm. Giant fighting monkeys and pterodactyls with fire breath. <laughs> I mean, I'm. That's such a dragon. Yeah, yeah. A pterodactyl with fire breath. I'm pretty sure is a dragon. <laughs> yeah, you, you, do you know though what a dragon is? Yeah. Yeah. Have you met one? <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> All this has got me really excited for the new Avengers movie coming out. It's coming out so soon. At the end of next month. Ooh. You know what else is coming out the end of next month? What? West World 2. Is it really? Yep. New oh, season cool. coming out April 22nd. I am excited oh. for that. I think I'm about to start diving in and doing my recap se- season watch. You know what else? Legion. Legion, yeah. yes. That's also coming out. I still out. haven't seen the first season of that. Mm. Really I've good. heard nothing but good things, mostly from you Really guys. good. Yeah. Mainly um, from us. Yeah. We're the only one that's hot. <laughs> Which I was a, is that FX? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. You can see it on Hulu. Not a sponsor. Hulu. I tried looking it up on Hulu. I couldn't find it. It's on there. Suck. Is it? Yep. Right, I'll right. check it out. So I have a, a nerd question okay. about comics that I'm sure most everybody by now has all sorted out in their head, but I still don't quite have it sorted out. Mm. All right. The the Infinity Stones. Right. Mm-hmm. Where are they exactly in the Marvel Universe? They're right and in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm-hmm. And what is it exactly that they do? Like, is there one of them that, like, binds the others together, like the Ring of Power? They have, they each have their own set powers. I don't remember, um, what, you know, like, the specific ones for each one. But what they've done recently is they've made it to where, like, you need one to use the other one. So, like, that's why, that's the big reason for wanting to have all of them is, like, you need this one to power up this one, and you need this one, this one, and this one, and then when you have all six combined with the gauntlet, you basically have access to just to whatever. And it's I mean, these combined powers like time, you know, manipulation, space manipulation. That's their big thing. You want to have all of them and you need one to power up the other, which is why they're kind of They've useless. shown them using them individually. Though. Yeah, like, but like they've still got power, but like it's not going to be, you know, to that full extent. Okay. Like you've got like, okay, I can kind of get a little bit of juice out of this. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, like you combine that with this corresponding stone and it's like, oh yeah, full power, you know. Okay. All right, so... Let me pose a question. If, as we all know, in superhero movies, the the heroes have to overcome some triumph. Mm -hmm. The bad guy's plan almost has to come to fruition. They have to come close to completing their plan, and then the bad guy, the the, the heroes overcome. Mm -hmm. Vision has one of the Infinity Stones in his head. You have to assume that at some point, Thanos is going to get all of the Infinity Stones. Yep. Mm-hmm. Is Vision going to get killed in the first Infinity War movie? Very possibly. Yes. Think so? You yes, think Vision, yes, it's very possible. I've seen that. Vision's going down? There's there's well, one of the I, scenes in the trailer. Is he coming back or is he like done done? I thought, yeah, like what he was going to say, we're going to bring up the where it shows him without the stone in yeah. the trailer. Yeah. So I think he's going to survive that maybe just because of what he is because he's not, you know, human. That's yeah. true. Um, I think he's got the the mind, the mind stone. stone. Yeah. And yes. what does the mind stone allow one to do? Uh, no, well, they that showed that in know. Age of Ultron, where it was it was allowing them to. Um, I know. I guess that was really more of Scarlet Witch's power that was, yeah. that was messing with their heads. No fucking clue. <laughs> I assume it would have something to do with being able to control people's minds, though, or to um, see into it, or see, yeah, you know, see into it or whatever. Um, with then, a name like Mindstone, it's got to be good. It's probably got something to do with the mind. No, I, I, I you think so. No. Okay. I know Doctor Strange has got the he, Time Stone. Yes. And that's the the, the green the, the one, green and, one, and that allowed him Agamotto. to create the time loop mm-hmm. or whatever, and so he can sort of mess with yeah. time. Yeah. And so I get that. Uh, the Soul Stone, that's the purple one? Soul Stone has not shown up yet. Yeah, the Soul Stone's the one we don't know where yeah. it is. Okay. The purple one's the Power Stone. Power Stone. Right? Yes, yeah. The, yes. That was the one from Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Um, the Nova Corps. And the, and the Intergalactic has Police Force has yeah, that, right? Yeah, the Nova Corps, yep. And just like, just the, like the, um, um, cool. Yeah, the guy, the same guy, the uh, Wong has the, the, the time stone right now. Yeah. yeah, and you have the Ether from Thor: Dark World, mm -hmm. and the Collector has that. Uh, yeah, which was which stone was that? That was that the, was the red one. Yeah, but I don't. Oh, I don't. I don't remember which one it. Uh, is it the Space Stone? I, th yeah, I think so because it. With the with like the man yeah. could manipulate, and then there's the tesseract, which is it was in Odin's vault. Loki's got but it. Loki's no, no, he has it now. No, no, no. The tesseract's the space stone. Okay, yeah. tesseract. I think is space. Okay, so then the ether because be... that was what allowed the portal to open for the aliens yeah. to come yeah. through, right? They I used can't the, remember the what tesseract the ether was called. To open that portal. Yeah, reality stone. Reality yeah. stone. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Um, and so what does it do? It changes reality? Actually, yeah, it, it was reality. also opening a bunch of portals, so I don't fucking know. Well, warps reality, I assume that's a thing. That's true. Yeah, it did show, they did have, like, weird stuff going on with, like, the all the weird little, spinning yeah, in the, the air. And, the, and then, like, the black, red pillars it made everywhere. Yeah. Right? So, that's your, all the stones right there, right? So now, I've seen, I've heard speculation that, um... Thanos already has the soul stone, because they don't know where that is. Thanos has the gauntlet. The Infinity Gauntlet, um, and I think the first one we he's going to get is the the Tesseract one, which everyone that is maybe Cause unless Loki gives him a fake. Well, they yes. have a that's you know how Loki is. I think they've already straight up said that uh, at the end of Ragnarok, the ship was Thanos. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, which Ragnarok just came out on DVD recently. Mm -hmm. I was watching it last night and earlier today. Good stuff. Um, Good great stuff. movie. Love that movie. Uh, I have heard that, since we haven't seen the Soul Stone yet, that it could be that Tony Stark is the Soul Stone. I've heard that. Or he created the Soul Stone yeah. or something like it. Right. I mean, he created the compound for mm -hmm. his chest Yeah, piece, and Iron Man which, 2. Which I, I, don't, I don't think that's accurate because just you would assume that the Soul right. Stone is, is already right. there. So I don't think it could be that. That's, that's why, a miniature arc reactor. That's why it? he created a new element in... Yeah, Iron Man Two. That thing that was like supposed um, to just cure him. Yeah, I've but, seen things like because of that, like he created that. It's like Infinity Stone levels of power, like which is one thing like why he may have been able to maybe. resist Loki in the first Avengers when he was trying to do the mind control thing. Maybe that's why he's because he I, still had it at the time. I just assumed because Loki wasn't touching his skin with the thing, it was hitting the the arc reactor instead. That was what I, I thought too. But then all this stuff about yeah Tony yeah. being. Maybe the speculating on um, Easter that, eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it may be that what what I've heard is that because Tony is the soul of the team, he is the soul stone, and that he's going to be the one that dies in the movie to become the soul stone or some bullshit. I've um, also seen that they there's it's, they've put a lot of emphasis on this orange looking planet. I've seen rumors that that could be mm -hmm. the soul stone, like that's its the case. whole planet. Yeah, because like you know, maybe he had like a case or a casket. Yeah, that could just be it. Um. So who fucking knows? We'll see. Yeah, and we'll I mean, see. there's a lot that's gonna happen. Not, so you get all these the movie, stones like, together, you put them on this gauntlet, and you basically control everything. In everything. the original uh, comic story, um, for this that they're basing it off of, uh, Thanos had everything, and he just snapped, and half of the universe was gone. He just took out everything. So, but there's a lot left because I mean, we there's this Avengers movie, mm -hmm. there's Ant Man and Wasp this year, which yeah. who knows how that's supposed to tie in with with what's becoming such a huge thing now. Um, Captain Marvel, that's next year, right? and then yeah, yeah, the next Avengers movie, Infinity War Part Two, yeah, and, or whatever they're going to call it because apparently they're not calling it. Um, but they've also shown some other stuff, like they showed Adam Warlock's mm -hmm. um, cocoon, which. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to know who that is, but the people who are really into the comics know that he was part of the Infinity Watch, who they were the ones who were supposed to be guarding these stones. Um, and I don't know how they're going to come, you know, put that into here. So what are they going to start doing bringing uh, their their Fox purchases into the world? Hopefully soon. Yeah, I've, I've uh, I was reading something about how they they uh, they're delaying some of the Fox TV shows. And they might be, and it might be because they're trying to figure out how to bring those over. But 
Because I, I, I can, the only ones I can think of, like the only Fox TV shows I can think of that have to deal with it are Legion and Gifted, and I don't know how those would fit in. See, and Gift, I, Gifted might actually be MCU. I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't think it is. I think it's X Men. I'm just curious to see what they're gonna do with the movies mm -hmm. because. There was all that talk, you know, with Hugh Jackman leaving as Wolverine. Mm -hmm. He said he would be open to be Wolverine again. If it was if, an MCU. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, because well, he's, you go, getting, Hugh. he's getting really old. So, like, I'd like to see not him being the Logan that he was, but him being the old man Logan, Logan yeah. and then bringing someone in to be, you know, current, you know, present day Logan. Like they mm -hmm. have in the comics, because old man Logan's just running around doing things, but you still have normal Wolverine who's coming back. Yeah. Which that's, mm. I, I wonder how long they can keep doing all the stuff they're doing in the comics because it's getting to the point where they've created so many of these alternate things. Mm -hmm. They're going to end up having to do something like DC did with the with the crisis things where they kept just combining these well, universes they, to make it one they thing. They recently, like, they've been doing that. That's, uh, like, where the uh, Secret Wars came in and stuff like that. Like, uh, there was the Ultimate Universe in mm -hmm. the Marvel comics, and then the Secret Wars basically got rid of that. Okay. So, like, you know, Miles, the Spider-Man of the Ultimate Universe, he's now in the current, you know, right. run because his universe is gone. And they incorporated that as when the collapse, you know, everyone who was actually able to make it over just always felt like they were in that universe. Okay. So, like, he always has known, like, he's only known that universe. Well, like, unless you're someone super smart, like, like Reed Richards, you mm -hmm. know, he knew he wasn't originally from that universe. He knew his universe is gone. Okay. But it's only like that. Like they had to do that a couple of years ago, but I don't know but then how you, they're doing it now. But then you also have these alternate futures, mm -hmm. like like with Old Man Logan and uh, Cable's various in incarnations, right. and you know all this other, and an alternate past. They can just play that off though as alternate dimensions, yeah, because that's what they do. But the, but then they bring them in, mm -hmm. and then you have like you have multiple Wolverines running around. You have. They brought in six of them, right? They now. Are they really? <laughs> yes. God. And they brought in the original five X Men. Mm -hmm. Like they brought them to the future, but now they have to figure out, like, in in canon and in the real life, they have to figure out like how do we put these kids back so they can actually be the X Men? Yeah. So it's a bunch of weird stuff. Weird stuff going on. Yep. How's that doodle going? Oh, it's like. Going so well right That's now. That's cool. He's, he's been working on the same thing for I know. Like the last 30 minutes. <laughs> so why is like the K, like why does that not level with the T and the A and the L? Huh? Nothing's level. Like the, mm. the bottom of it. None of oh, it's okay. crooked. No, yeah. It's... Compared to the T and yeah. A and the L. Yeah, nope. it's fine. Now you've ruined it. <laughs> yeah, you can see this on the Instagram. Yeah, you'll, you'll get to see it. It's um, so impressive. Be sure to make fun of the K. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeremy, who's who's your favorite historical uh person? Like a real historical person? Like a real um, life historical person, like for any reason, from any generation, someone from the past. That's a tough one. I've never really thought about that. Yeah. Like, who's my favorite person from history? Yeah. Which I was never a big history guy, so I guess that, you know, it's never been my thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't, like, because I've got, like, people, you know, I think have done really cool things, but, like, I don't, I never actually thought about, like, oh, that person right there, that's my favorite. That's well, I, I ask because I was, I was thinking earlier about, uh, Hitler? <laughs> alternate, <laughs> alternate history. <laughs> Um, and, and yes, Hitler actually was one of the things that I thought about. Um, not as your favorite person, right? No, no. Okay. I, I was talking about alternate history movies like Inglorious Bastards. Right. Okay. Uh, or like, um, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I did oh. like that. I, I, re I like the book, actually. The book was really cool. Where you, um, you, you take something or, or a situation from the past and yeah. you recreate it. For you know, public consumption or right. whatever, and so I asked you what mm -hmm. your what your favorite person from history is, so that we could kind of decide what would be the most viewed 
spectacle for them to to live. Like, now, now, if we're talking about your favorite person, you're talking about like your favorite person to study, like the most interesting person, or the person you like. You're the most. You're the, my favorite person as a person. Like, do you have both of those already picked out? No. Okay, <laughs> so then what does it matter which one of those I'm talking about? If you so can't... I can drill down my options. Uh, just come up with both of those. Yeah, one mm -hmm. of each. Nothing. All right. <laughs> But, you know, I was, I was thinking, like, you know, George Washington Carver, like, saves the Earth from a zombie apocalypse or something. <laughs> uh, but it's all set in, like, way back in, like, yeah. you know, George. this summer, George Washington Carver invented the cotton gin, <laughs> peanut butter, and saved the human race. Yeah. I want to see something that's like... Uh, Genghis Khan played by Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> a young Genghis Khan. <laughs> like a young, awkward Genghis Khan before he like uh, finds his, yeah. his man. No, uh, no, uh, yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's fine, we can do that. <laughs> you wanna go do what? In Khan, Asia? we're gonna take over all of Asia, right? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, that yeah, out. um, Pulls sure. Out a little notebook. Yeah, that's, that's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Or like tell the story of like after Elvis got kidnapped by the aliens, right. how he becomes like an alien, you know, Overlord uh, <laughs> yeah, some sort of an ambassador for <laughs> Earth, and he's like he goes on all these crazy alien adventures as the to sing and dance and mm -hmm. like show other races what humans are like. Yeah. You can always and the get only, controversial. The only reason that we haven't been annihilated is because Elvis is out there like it's doing, like the planet every day. Doing good things <laughs> for the earth. Michael it's Jackson, interesting. Monster There's, Hunter. <laughs> you see you I mean we've all heard Daft Punk, correct? Mm -hmm. Um yeah. they made a movie. Come on kids. Several we years go back. kill Frankenstein <laughs> monster. <laughs> <laughs> he said Michael Jackson Monster Hunter. And so that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was no, what, what you're saying reminded me, there was a movie uh, called Interstellar 5555. It was made by Daft Punk for their album Discovery. And uh, in it, there's no there's no dialogue. It's only that album that's playing throughout and like different scenes. And, and the, the, the story goes that there's this band on some other planet that ends up getting kidnapped, brought to Earth, brainwashed painted to look human and then like they play music and sell records and it makes this company a lot of money and i was thinking like elvis if that's what happened and then elvis has been like brainwashed to go and play on these other planets and play music and stuff like i mean um, if you're a zookeeper right and you're out yeah. harvesting races mm -hmm. you know like you don't want to get a boring yeah. exhibit you don't want the snake that just hides under the rock all the time <laughs> like you want the snake that eats the rat and climbs up right. the, the limb and like licks the glass and that kind of stuff and that's what elvis is he licks the glass he's, yeah. he's licking the glass <laughs> for all of the other alien races is he yeah. scraping the glass so as well we don't, i don't know man <laughs> you gotta ask me these intimate questions <laughs> You know, you got the scrape and lick going on. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, nuzzling a little bit. Uh, scrape the bang if you lick the... <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. You know, some, yeah. some Madame Curie, like, you know, invents, like, some kind of a crazy That's... neurotoxin that allows people to live forever and then she gets taunted by these federal agents or whatever or... Madame Curie seems like more of a zombie thing to me I think where that's like that's what she was trying to cure was zombieism yeah like all um, these different breakthroughs that she came out with that she's famous for but yeah. you don't know what she's really not famous <laughs> for you're welcome yeah. yeah George Washington's a werewolf hunter <laughs> that follows yeah. sure yeah, I'd watch those movies. Right? Yeah. So just and if Seth Graham, I think it's Seth Graham Smith, the guy who did Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. No idea. If he wants to make those movies, I will watch them. I mean, I already yeah, saw he, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, so. What was that? It was good. It was Pride and Prejudice plus Zombies. Ooh. How does that work? Zombies. Watch the movie. Read the book. Oh, man. I've Sounds got the like book. I have to do a lot of work for this. <laughs> I, I haven't read the book yet. You got to work for this bit. <laughs> But yeah, you were talking at dinner about what High Tower, the man in the high the man in the high castle, High Castle, which was High uh, Towers from Police Academy. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
That was the Netflix show about, or not Netflix, Hulu. um, Hulu. Oh, no, it's Hulu. Amazon Prime. Yeah, Amazon it was one Prime. of those yeah. <laughs> yeah. services. Shit, people, we don't know. <laughs> Nailed it. But it was about uh, if the if the Axis won World War Two rather than the Allies, um, and like and how the German, Japanese, yeah, Italian split would go. Right. So I I never actually watched. It. I want. I I would like to, and I think they have a new season coming out, or uh, they or they just no did or something. Idea. Um, but it's something that was, I, I thought was a really interesting thing. And, and I've always thought that kind of stuff was interesting with the, I mean, they've done that in comics too. Like, uh, what if the what ifs in mm-hmm. Marvel and stuff, but there's also others where like, uh, they did in DC, like, I think it was called like red sun or something. It was what if, if uh, Superman, if Superman landed, landed in, in Russia, uh, mm-hmm. um, and how he would become like a Russian superhero and yeah. all that stuff. But. They did uh, that. I dig that, like Watchmen style, where you know, yeah. Doctor Manhattan, mm-hmm. we win the Vietnam War. Yeah, we've that's got another him. good alternate history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Yes. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do when I'm editing this? I'm gonna have that extended silence be really long. <laughs> I like it. But I love it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> See, now when people are watching this or listening to it, they have no idea what I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, need a, we need a soundboard guy. You know, in uh, Parks and Recreation, mm-hmm. that show, that's a show, they got this uh, show? radio show that's inside of that show, and it's, it's called Mad Ira and the Douche. Or something <laughs> Crazy like that. Ira and the Douche. Crazy Dude. Ira and yeah. the Douche. And Crazy Ira and the Douche. And it's one of the guys that we love. It's Crawl. Nick Crawl. Uh, yeah. And... Like, I feel like we need their level of sound effects. Because they, they make this big deal in the show about how their sound effects guy is like a super genius. And he's <laughs> he's always queued up with the exact right. right sound for any kind of just an improv moment. Yeah. And so there are a lot of times when they'll just say something off the cuff and they'll have a sound effect. Boom. Beep, whoop that they can throw in there. So, yeah. like some real loud crickets or something along those lines. In real life, it's usually the person talking hitting the sound effects. Mm, yeah. They know what they're going to say and they've already got the sound effects queued up. Mm. And everything. Like, like a real bored <laughs> yawn. Like yeah. for whenever I really like and just, <laughs> yeah. just rolling film over here. <laughs> like, yep. You could just be like Every his mouth. That's hurtful. Winter fun. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, God. There are people who don't know what we're talking about. I would say at this point, we've probably lost about 75% of our audience. Yeah, because of winter fun? Yep. Yep. We've been winter funning a lot of this episode. <laughs> I don't know if that's accurate. Are you sure? Now it is. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely now it is, yeah. Mm. We've, uh, we've discussed, uh, you know, Powerful females, uh, the Infinity Stone, Jessica Jones, uh, different uh, alternate history movies, mm-hmm. and um, I've been doodling. Yeah, I don't feel like you really added anything to any of that. No, mm-hmm. no. I got really caught up in my drawing. I'm just so happy it's, with it. Well, it's have it's nice. It looks very 80s. It's got sort of like a Micro Machines kind of feel to it. Right, like you know. Mm. Was there anything you'd well, like to share with the class? What'd you, you learn tonight? Has an hour gone by? Nope. Oh. There you go. So this is going to work on. Shut it down? Yep. Because oh, I'm the only one that brought topics? Sure. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, See, I'm the only one that brought topics. I did learn uh, where and, and what the Infinity Stones did. Yeah. Well, at least as much as y'all could tell me, because right. yeah, apparently don't, we don't, y'all don't really don't. know. We don't know shit. <laughs> no one knows. Because they're not real. But if like, real like if I were in a if I were in like a superhero tabletop campaign and I found the Infinity Stone, like I want a fucking card that says like these are the stat advantages. Yeah. <laughs> these is what you can do per round, your per day. Well, if this was like, a tabletop thing. We would have that all planned out. Oh, yeah. We would know. We're not just gonna throw you something and then be like, oh, that's what you it got does. Infinity Stone. What's it do? I don't fucking know, man. Just fucking. What do you it want out. it to do? <laughs> F- find out and play. I'm yeah. gonna write this card out. 
<laughs> so we should invent a broadcasting tabletop game so that uh, the more topics that I successfully bring up, like I can level. Yeah? Yeah, like an experience system. Okay. What do you want to level up to? I want to level up to like... Seven. Nine. Not the number. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what class are you leveling? Like, <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, think about that. Justin, what'd you learn tonight? I learned that I can spend a whole bunch of time doodling on the same thing. Yeah? Yeah, I got really distracted. Cool. Jeremy, what'd you learn? That uh, everyone at this table really, really likes Phoenix, apparently. I'm not a huge Phoenix fan, actually. I just think she's badass. I mean, she is. I've always felt that she was overpowered and overpopular. Um, but I feel that way about Wolverine, too. Now, now Wolverine, that's different. He's a funny Canadian little man. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's just... Nah, you're dead. Yeah. You know. She doesn't well, say things like, Bub. I'm sure she doesn't, typically. I was like Gambit. Gambit was my favorite X-Men. She doesn't drink or tell other X-Men to fuck off. <laughs> Gambit doesn't? No, Gambit does. Gambit does. Yeah. Gambit, 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 does, Gambit does that stuff. I think Gambit okay could have no. been a lot cooler. I think we've discussed this before, though. I definitely felt like the portrayal of Gambit in that X-Men movie, I felt like they could Oh, yeah. In the movie, it was terrible. They could have made him a lot cooler. <laughs> uh, I've always felt, you know, in the comics, I always liked him, but... Yeah, and I was excited when they when they were going to put him in the movie, and I was very disappointed by it. And then they were going to do his own movie, and they didn't do that. I still might be able to. I think they're still Maybe. trying to, but it's definitely not going to be Taylor Kitch. No, well, it was, it's been Channing Tatum. Has yeah, been he the was going to be for, the, the new one. For Game for I need time. to hear Channing Tatum's Creole accent. Yeah. That's another thing that's always been an issue with me with a lot of these movies. Like, when, when they first had <laughs> Colossus show up in X-Men 2... He couldn't even fake a Russian accent for his two lines. Nope. And then again in the third movie, he still couldn't fake a Russian accent. But then they gave him a Russian accent for Deadpool. Yeah, and so he was good. Even though he was completely CG at that point, yeah. and it was just a voice actor. Yeah. Doesn't matter. They had the mocap guy. I wonder who it was. I saw something. It definitely wasn't that kid who couldn't do a Russian accent. Definitely wasn't him. Yeah. For some reason, I know that kid's name. Don't ask me how. It's uh, Daniel something? Daniel Cudmore. Yeah. yeah. Daniel Cudmore. There's a shout out for you. Where you going? <laughs> how how you doing, doing Danny? Rolls? I don't know. How are you? We haven't seen you in a while. We've got concerned. Aunt Linda says hi. <laughs> Tonight I learned that uh, if you give Justin an iPad and no direction, he won't pay attention to the show at all. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I sure won't. Nope. Just a silent, scritchy, scritchy, scritchy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Inglorious Bastards, too. <laughs> First thing Jason mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, can, he, can, he can read it right yeah. here. Yep. I've been using this the whole time. Yeah. I would ask you Horrible. if you had any hashtags, but you've just been doodling. You haven't had any. Yeah, hashtag talkie box. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag uh, talking about on the next episode: gun control rights and bathroom rituals. How many <laughs> toilet sheets of paper do you use? All of them. So now we actually have to talk about this. We shit. don't. We don't have to do any of the things that we say we're gonna do. All right. Hey, you wanna be a patron? A patron? Except, patron on Patreon. Except pay off our and, patrons. Yeah. Uh, go to patreon.com slash talkie box, which is probably what it is. If it's not, I'll edit it later. <laughs> and, um, you know, help us get better equipment and more people to actually help us do this job and stuff like that. And you some can get cool stuff like stickers and t shirts and behind the scenes footage and some other stuff we probably make up. Yeah, I'll design for some just things. For just 50 cents more an episode, Justin might make eye contact with the camera. <laughs> what? Yeah. You see? Getting deprived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.